back in Manhattan. Ambulances must take like 25 minutes to get where they're going. up how are all of you doing today i hope you're having an amazing day i am having a great start to today because new york has been in the most ridiculous heat wave i mean it's been like 100 degrees it's been humid it has been too hot to enjoy being outside i've been sweating through all my clothes and it's just been really gross for like the past week and today it's finally cooled down and it's like 65, 66 degrees, which I mean, it's not the most ideal weather for July, but after the week we've had, I'll take it. I think after this week, I've officially decided that fall is my new favorite season. I just can't deal with the heat. In Canada, we get heat, but we get dry heat. New York, we get wet heat. Wet heat? Wet heat? Does that make- Okay, in other news, I'm about to make a very bad decision. It's not that bad of a decision. I sort of regret it already, but also sort of not. The past few weeks I've really been trying to eat healthy and I, I know this isn't healthy, but just sometimes on a, on a cloudy, rainy day, you just want some. Mmm, this was an amazing decision. Okay, this is the greatest unboxing I've had probably. Yeah, this is the greatest unboxing I've had all year. I have a sneaking suspicion that you guys are going to be just excited as well. Oh, I understand. Oh. Yep. As you guys all know, my boosted board has not been working for the past few months. Uh, we figured out that there's cables inside here that were broken and unfortunately there's just no way to fix them because it's inside of this carbon fiber and foam and the only way you could get to them was by tearing apart the entire. I needed to buy a new deck. Slightly, slightly, um, slightly different. I just need to get my friend Jeff to fix it because I actually uh, don't know how to set all of this stuff up. Yes, Boosted Board is out of business and bankrupt except there's some guy that sells like all of the leftover stock. Quick delivery, but seriously, man, like, you could cool it on the packaging just, just a bit. I'm gonna try not to intrude too much because they're filming their wedding over there, but check this out. That is how I wanna pull up to my wedding in like a 1920s car in a tuxedo. This is the most gangster thing I've ever seen in my life. Whoever the lucky couple is over there, congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful marriage. 50% chance it doesn't go that well, except at least you had a nice car on your wedding day. Okay, uh, this is a really nice, uh, there's the, the battleship. What's that called? The Intrepid over there. Park on the pier. I wanted to come here because it's quiet and I can actually talk. I have a bit of a confession slash clarification slash explanation slash exposition. You've probably noticed two things about my channel the past few months and that is number one, there have been less uploads. I in 2018 i uploaded pretty much every single day and then in 2020 i probably uploaded five days a week and then lately it's been two days a week uh, really only seven or eight videos a month and also you've probably noticed that the videos have switched content and style and honestly i think for the better obviously most people that subscribe to my channel are really interested in the sneaker content so you know the views have gone down that's something that i expected and it was a long process to think about that like is this what i want am i willing to you know make videos to get 25 percent the amount of views as i was getting before and after a lot of thinking i decided yeah that is something that i'm willing to do if i actually enjoy the videos more and i 100 percent have been that's not really much of an explanation the explanation that i wanted to give you guys is 
for why there's been so few videos. And I genuinely, I, I'm mad at myself and frustrated by it. And also I feel bad because I feel like I'm letting you guys down with a lack of content as well with that type of upload schedule. I guess the best way to explain it would be that I have a really obsessive personality. When I get hooked on something, I get hooked on it and I have a tendency to get tunnel vision. And small screen has really been ramping up the past few months. We've been signing a bunch of new clients. We've been growing. We just hired someone this past week. So I've been busy making sure that she knows how to do her job and is all trained adequately and everything. That stuff takes time and it takes focus. And, and running around the city and doing fun stuff and hanging out with my friends also takes time and focus. The boosted board is actually gonna help a ton because it makes getting around the city so much easier. So if I wanna go out and do something that used to take an hour with taking the train or walking, I can now do that same thing and it maybe takes half an hour, which will let me film more content while still trying to. I am aware that there's been less videos. I don't mean to make this like some doom and gloom and dreary. It's, it's, it's not, I'm in a great space. I'm really happy with what I'm doing and I can't wait to build a new audience for really cool, fun videos. We're gonna be traveling more later this year and meeting a bunch of cool people. It's just been a weird couple months and I wanted to clarify with you guys and, and let you know that, yeah, it's 100% it's accurate to say that my focus hasn't been as much on YouTube the past three months. What I'm saying is I recognize it, I apologize, and we're going to have at least I don't want to say four or five, but at least three, at least three videos a week from now on. That I can 100% commit to. Thank you guys for listening to my rant. I truly appreciate you. You are some of my favorite people on earth. And when I say that, I genuinely... I just got a package from my friend in Canada. Friend John Giesbrecht is a basketball coach. He has a podcast called The Anxious Baller. This is not like a plug. I mean, I guess it is. He's not paying me. It's called The Anxious Baller, and uh, this is very cool. Thank you, John Giesbrecht. I appreciate it. That being said, I have a call that I need to hop on with a very cool influencer in 37 seconds. That's a, a super seamless um, integration at that point because it takes five seconds it doesn't take away from the video or anything and there's a quick little you know it's both a piece of content and an ad at the same time yeah so it would just be a, a payout I'm I'm not 100% sure for the first 60 day period it might just be at the or 60 or 90 day it might be at the end of the period a super awesome phone call with a really awesome creator. If you guys were ever wondering, and I know lots of people get this question of what are YouTubers, what are Instagrammers actually like behind the scenes? Are they the same as they are on camera or is it an act on camera? With the dozens and dozens of creators that we work with on a regular basis, 99% of the time they are exactly the same off camera as they are on camera. I don't know what it is about YouTubers and Instagrammers, but they are some of the kindest, most genuine, most passionate people ever. In other news, it is 99 degrees and humid outside. This is absolutely, we're gonna go to the park. Hopefully it's colder at the park. We're, uh, we're in Central Park. It is unfortunately not colder at all. Uh -oh. 